You know, seriously, what could be better than the taste of grilled food? But you have to do it in outdoor grilling. Well, wouldn't it be much better if you could grill anywhere at any time just by plugging something in, including indoors? So it doesn't matter if it's too hot, too rainy, too cold, or you drop your food off of it. <laughs> Sorry, this is funny so far. Uh, you've got the Phillips indoor grill to be able to do all that and get great grilling taste. Stephanie, welcome. Chef Eric, thanks for joining us as well. Hey, you throw your food outside and it's in the dirt, right? That's you true. throw your food on the counter and you're all good. You can just put it back <laughs> you on. You can just put it right back on. Another great that. benefit, too. And you know, <laughs> Philips is just iconic for coming up with brilliant, brilliant appliances for our homes. And it's all about technology, yes. and they're all tailored to fit a need that you have. You know, you think about Sonicare, you think about TurboStar with the air fryer. This is advanced infrared technology that does the grilling for you right on your countertop, anywhere there's electricity, smokeless. And that is the key. So what's happening inside the Philips grill is really neat. There are two infrared panels that literally reflect the heat up to the top of the grill so that every bit of the grill itself is a consistent and even temperature. Boy, you can't say that when you grill outside. No hot spots, no flare ups, nothing but picture perfect results. This makes you such a great cook. But the tray that the fats and juices from when you're grilling drip down onto, the tray stays cool. And this has a lot to do with why this is so great to do indoors. Because with a cool tray, you have no smoke, no odor. No flare-ups. No flare-ups and incredibly easy cleanup. You know but what else you don't have? What's that? No charcoal. Oh, no no wood, propane. No propane. <laughs> no None lighters. No, no yeah. Like the list really, goes on you, and on. You, you really have very little mess. That's so the brilliance. Easy, so and then easy. the best part is the results. Like that's all we want. We want that grilled taste. Well, exactly. Look at the golden color of this. Look at the caramelization, the sear marks. Everything you love about grilling is right here. Everything you hate about grilling has gone away. You never run out of propane. You're never worried about the weather. You're never battling the bugs. I remember when my kids were young to step outside and leave everybody inside while you were running back and forth trying to get meals on the table. Again, what Philips has done is they have really enabled us to do something that we truly love. And you don't just have to love it when the weather is perfect or the temperature is right and the bugs aren't there. You can now grill at any time of day any day of the year and you have the results that you get and that you want from hundreds of dollars that you would spend on an outdoor grill that delivers less than consistent results. No, Quite well, honestly, not only that, but it's a hassle. Right. And you know, it was interesting. I was telling everybody in the makeup room, we have a makeup area, and there's a gal, Allie, and I said, oh, she goes, what are you talking about tonight at midnight? I go, oh, it's gonna be this great Phillips indoor grill, right? And she said, you know what that's great for? And she immediately came up with it. She said, everybody who lives in an apartment that's not allowed to have a grill. Absolutely. She said, and she goes, think about everyone who's in an apartment or in a condo or something like that and you're not allowed to have an outdoor grill, or quite frankly, there's no space for it. Sure. For anybody you know who really misses that outdoor grilling taste, this is such a great item. And for a lot of people, not only are you not allowed to have typically an outdoor grill, but you still might have a great little patio space. You can use this on any little space. All you okay. need is access to power. So it That's can a great point. go out on your RV. Yeah. It can go tailgating go with you. Oh, you tailgating. You can, can imagine? go camping with it. I can't can't imagine because I've done it and it's amazing to be able to take all these great things on the go. Again, you are taking out every single hassle of outdoor grilling and replacing it with something that couldn't be easier in your home. Now, that said, I have purchased other indoor style grills before and they were miserable to work with. Think about those cast iron grill pans. Yes, I got a good sear on my steak. The smoke filled up my kitchen immediately. The smoke alarms went off. The dog was crying and hiding. I had to open up the windows. The smokeless part of this technology is incredible. How much it changes, how easy it is to work with. So you know tonight you're part of something really exciting. What's that? Okay, so I gotta show you guys too. Please join us if you can. Flick over, call somebody, say go to our HSN Facebook page because for the first time ever at midnight, we are actually live streaming. 
Yay! Now, what's really cool about that is not only can you watch us on your computer, your phone, tablet, whatever, but you can ask us questions. So ask Stephanie a question. Oh, I love or that. Or ask my next couple of guests coming up a question about this item or say hi or shout out. Or if you own it, let me know what you love about it and I'm going to try to get all your comments on the air. So just want to say shout out to everybody who's on Facebook watching us tonight. From now on, the Midnight Hour will always be broadcast live on our HSN Facebook page. Good, because so when you have streaming. questions, let us answer them. Uh, please. You know, I want to tell you about it. I love it. that. Me so too. if you've got a question about this, just get on here and say hey to me and I will try to ask Stephanie a question. Well, I, I know the number one question that I do get asked by people when we talk about this is, is it really the same as outdoor grilling? Again, look at the sear marks. Mm. Look at the gorgeous color of this corn. And again, you're doing things that are so much more manageable here on this grill. You know, when I do something like corn outside, all it takes is one flare up from the chicken sitting next door and suddenly I have a big burned blotchy spot on my food. You just chart it. Exactly. And that happens all the time when we're cooking outdoors because we know you can't completely control the juice and fat release of our meats. The chicken, so moist, so flavorful. As we're trying to do more healthy eating heading into the summer season, it is so easy to grab some chicken breasts, throw them on my indoor grill, slice them up on a salad. I'm doing it for lunch. I am eating so much healthier because it's so much easier to get the food on well, the table. And you know what the thing is, is my husband is the only one that grills in our house because I won't go out there and touch that. Yep, thing. I'm with but you. But I love the results. And the neat thing about this, Stephanie, is you get consistency across the whole grill plate. Exactly. That's that's very different. If you've got a charcoal grill, which we do, it'll be hot on one side, cold on another, lukewarm in here. Here, it's so consistent across the whole plate. So let's talk about this grill plate. What did you just notice I was able to do? Easy to Wipe clean. it <laughs> off. Every inch of this is nonstick on both sides so that if you really want to clean off, and you can see it right there on my rag, this wipes off as easy as can be. You would never be able to do that with your outdoor grill. And if you've done any indoor grilling with cast iron, that doesn't work either. So a great non-stick cooktop 446 degrees in every single corner so that my middle part is the exact same temperature as my corner which means I can cook evenly on every aspect of it and what, talk about the heat how do we set the temperature well so we have two different temperature levels high is at the 446 degrees which is that bright red you're seeing here and then if I give it a switch down to low it's sort of a, a duller glow that is an even 250 degrees which is a great warming temperature so that if you've got your food done and you're right. waiting to serve, or if you're using this for entertaining like kebabs, if you notice that I'm literally moving my hands all over this, yet it is essentially cooking as if it is a, you know, a hot as can be grill. Oh, cool. The heat is down inside and up to the grates. I'm not worried about anything flaring up over my hand here. I am able to work on this so much safer for me. You know, I'm so much more comfortable. Well, you know, yes, it's, I mean, for me, if I, my husband said, run out there and start our grill and cook something, I would just be hysterical. I honestly right. I don't, don't like know it. how to do it. I feel very uncomfortable. It's very cumbersome. It's awkward. I don't, my husband's been doing it for years, so he's got it figured out. You know, the weather stinks. I'm not even going clear near it. This <laughs> is so accessible now. Yes. So girls, how many of us don't grill, but you love grilled taste? Who doesn't love a great grilled burger or great grilled hot dogs? Or if you ever had pineapple grilled? Oh, we have that down you here. We'll put some is, on for you. You know what? Some of the best food in the world is grilled food. Even at some of the finest restaurants, they want to grill it because you love that flavor. Now, ladies, you grill on call. You can do it. You're not all of a sudden having to wait or go over to your son's house and he's yep. grilling out on a Saturday. Every day, you can grill for lunch if you wanted to. And I think exactly. the freedom of having that is wonderful. This is not just special occasion anymore. Phillips is making this accessible and easy for anybody to use. The amount of things you can grill grows because you're working with such an easy to manage surface. Remember, we are non-stick. We don't have flare-ups. I just put fish side down of a delicate fish. I don't typically do fish side down on my outdoor grill. It sticks immediately. I never have the food sticking here. I'm doing broccolini. I love asparagus on the grill as well. If anything should roll in between my grates, which by the way, these are spaced perfectly, just narrow enough so that I don't have that. But if I did need to get in there, guess what? Mm. No big deal. Great. It's not a fire, number one. And number two, do you see how I'm grabbing onto the grate? The handles are cool touch.
touch. This is where Philip starts to think outside of the box on how to make this wow. an easier user experience. If you need to grab it, grab it. No problem there. You can get food that falls in down. And again, the spacing of these grates could not be more perfect. Those are the little things, but those are the little things that make a really big difference in how much you like using a product. And here's Stephanie too. What's important about the offer you're seeing tonight is it's the first time we've ever offered this as a today's special. It's not only our lowest price on HSN that we've ever done, it's the lowest price anywhere. We're $80 off. Do you know if you go to Philip's website net right now, it's $329. I didn't mention, but you do get a great recipe book to go along with it. So lots of awesome recipes included. It is a customer pick at a much, much higher price. So now that we have it on sale for the first time, this is that one opportunity. If you've seen it before and it has sold out, we launched it, gone a couple Absolutely. of airings. I mean, just completely sold out. Now's the perfect time to get it. And while you're on our Facebook page, you might want to go on our website and look at the comments. There are wonderful comments. People use it every day. Say people, yep. oh my gosh, I finally can grill whenever I want to. It doesn't matter about the weather, too cold, too hot, too rainy, too buggy, as you said. You, name you it. can now get that great grilled flavor and taste. And you know what? Grilling imparts a very different flavor than just cooking in an oven or cooking in a skillet. Exactly, and it brings out a lot of the natural goodness of many foods. Honestly, I've never been a big broccolini person, but when you grill it, it just gets that little bitterness at the like, top. Why does so pineapple? Interesting. Why does pineapple taste so much better grilled? Because the sugars come out. Exactly. You know, you're drying out the sugar of your food. I just pulled off burgers, dogs, anything you'd want for the perfect barbecue of a lifetime. Wiped this clean with a wet rag and now I'm ready to go on to my next thing. Again, ease of use is something so crucial to me when I'm bringing appliances into my home because I don't want any more hassle. I want this to be something that is so incredibly okay, easy to work how with. how do we clean the interior? The interior, honestly, we talked about cool touch. I want to pull this out for you. First of all, look at Get all that great what is that? grease and fat. Oh, it's a catcher, it's a tray it's catcher. A, it's the tray catcher, yeah. Oh. This, so, and it's cool touch. Remember, this is on high. 446 degrees happening there. I am holding on to the tray. Now, the reason is wow. Philips made this tray cool touch for two reasons. It certainly makes cleanup a lot easier. And number two, remember, when this fat and grease drops down onto the tray, it is not smoking. It is not spitting back up because they made this a cool touch material. This is where the wow. technology is so cool. That's I mean, smart. really. That to is make really this smart. so easy to work with. Also, notice look at all that gunk that just drained off those burgers. I cook those on the stovetop, those are going right back into my food. So, similar to grilling, you're obviously draining off the stuff that you're happy to drain off, but that's not going into my fire and that's not creating a huge flare up. Because if it does, really? then I don't make a great burger. I am able to make these great burgers because this grill is making me a better cook. That is awesome. Because of the even cooking surface too, you can really get creative. Now you were talking about how you like the taste of fruits when they are grilled because the natural sugars come out. Slices of watermelon. This was new to me and I have become a convert. They almost end up tasting like candy. Ooh. The sugar comes out of the top and they get this wonderful crusty exterior. And then we're pairing this with something called halloumi cheese. And what I like about that is it really shows you what even heating can do. Can you imagine putting slices oh. of cheese on a standard grill? No. No, it would be a disaster. A I mean, yeah. first of all, if it would to melt down, and Lumi holds it together pretty well, but if it were to break apart at all, then you've got it going down into the fire, then you have a flare up, and then you've ruined everything. Right. Again, we have the perfect 446 degrees. We're gonna put just a little sear on this, That's and then so cool. you are going to see that that is an appetizer you will want to try. So you're thinking, okay, indoor grill. Like, what is one of your favorite sounds when it comes to grilling? Is hearing the food hit the grill. The sizzle. And the sizzle is there. And the caramelization is there. And that searing is there. So this isn't just, oh, it'll give you grill marks. You truly are grilling. And I think that's kind of, a, you see, oh, it's an indoor grill. Uh, is it really gonna grill? It truly gives you a genuine grilling experience. Absolutely. And I just wanna point out our flex pay tonight because you can get this home for under $30, under $40. I love that. It's for uh, five flex pays. The price, the flex pay, the free shipping is only available tonight while and today while it is in stock. We've now sold over 400 in just the first airing. I mean, it's going really quickly. So if you are thinking about about it and you want to pick it up tonight, I think it's a great Father's Day gift.
I totally agree. Fabulous and you know Bobby's what? Different. It's my favorite kind of gift where you give it to somebody and then you use it too because that's the best kind, right? <laughs> We're all going to enjoy it. Hey, what about bacon? I bet that's not something you would throw on your outdoor grill. You'd end up with a major fire most of the time. Again, we are able to do this because we don't have flame inside. We have infrared Wait, technology. Wait, and you did a sandwich. Show your sandwich. I am going to show oh, you the is. inside of this sandwich. Can you imagine so, a Cuban on this? Oh, oh, it would be so good. You could press it right down. This is what we call a Monte Cristo, which means basically mm. it's an egg dip sandwich. So this is a great brunch food with the ham and cheese on the inside because you know what would you really fire up your grill for brunch no. on a typical no. Saturday or Sunday most of us would or not. you come home at night and you want to do a grilled steak you're not going to go out there and fire that grill up because you got to wait for it to heat up the charcoal all that brunch why do we why do we have barbecues on the weekends because we have the time, time to do it but this doesn't <laughs> take any more time on any time of day than anything else so the fact that I am able to again do my bacon do my grilled sandwiches and then wipe clean is amazing. The technology inside this grill is what sets it apart from the other indoor grills on the market. For starters, we have the infrared technology being reflected up onto the tray so that we are able to keep the even heat in every concept of the grill space. So we're dealing with 446 degrees in every corner. That is the perfect temperature, Phillips concluded, for getting the grilled food that you love. But then the bottom is a stay cool tray. Easy to deal with and most importantly, as the natural fats and juices come out of your food, they don't smoke up the house. Indoor grilling up until now has been great in concept, right? We do all appreciate not having to go outside all the time to do things. But as soon as you have smoked up your house, had the smoke alarm go off, had the smell of fish in your home yeah. for, you know, hours on end. We've been doing salmon. I do flaky whitefish even on it. The smokeless makes all the difference in the world, and that is purely based on technology. All right, now we're doing something fun that I also don't wouldn't try outside. We're going to do a bananas foster. So we've sliced <laughs> the bananas, put a little brown sugar on them. Again, we are able to put those bananas then right on the grill. I'm going to let those caramelize for just a couple minutes, and then you'll see how a grilled dessert, I mean, you're paying, what, $10 for this in a restaurant? Yeah. No big deal. We can do this right here here on our grill and again any time of day you can get this out just to do dessert and right. it's really no problem whatsoever well, let's talk about setup for a minute here because I know that's one of the things we hate so much about regular grills it's kind of funny if you've actually ever forced anybody to do it I remember at one point handing the box over and I'm saying could you put this together honey it was it. like Build yeah, grill. six hours and a lot of very bad words <laughs> all you do is pull this out of the box and plug it in and you are good to go. Here's something else that I would never do with one of my outdoor grills. If you like sauces and you sauce your food frequently, typically we don't pour it all over because it creates a big mess. With the smokeless grill, this hits my tray on the bottom. It cools the temperature immediately. I don't smell like everything's burning because the sauce is not burning. It simply rests on the tray. All I do is pull it and wipe it out. But when you love sauces, I don't know if you're a big sauce person when your oh, husband cuts on the grill. It. Yeah, you can't get <laughs> enough flavor right. and, and just a new reason to enjoy the sauces. So what I like about this, you can see what's down here now. Now I'm stay cool here on the end. So this is coming out of a 440. 46 degree well, you grill. can see the steam rolling off the sauce. Absolutely. So the sauce was on the on the grate, so it is warm. But you see how there is not one bit of smoke coming off that actual tray? Look what is coming off. If I cook wow. wings in the oven or on the stovetop, that is all being absorbed right back into the food. Plus, so, you don't get the crispness. Exactly. Because it's they sitting get in soggy. its own oil. You don't right. want they your really food soggy. sitting in its own oil. But more importantly, I don't want all that grease and fat dripping into my charcoal grill. That's true. I mean, or in my belly. Or, or in my <laughs> belly. I mean, think about the mess that makes in your nice grill. It's not a problem when it lands on a stay cool nonstick pan. We can throw this in the dishwasher, wipe it off with the rag, and we are good to go. So again, ease of use here. Absolutely wonderful. Well, and what's fun about this is anytime you feel like grilling, it's not like a big production. You have to wait till the weekend. Oh, finally, it's Saturday. Everybody come over. We're going to grill. Why do you think so many people show up when you're going to grill? Because it's some of the best darn food you'll ever eat. <laughs> now, if you feel like grilling at lunchtime, you can do it. If you want to make breakfast on here, go for it. If you're going to do a dessert, you can do it. The lunch, a Cuban on here, as I said, would be unbelievable. So when you want to grill, when you get that urge, when you want to feel like it's that perfect summer day, any time of the year, exactly. 
This allows you to do it. And quite frankly, you know as well as I do, nothing tastes better than great grilled food. It is amazing how different it tastes than using an oven or using a standard skillet on top of your stove. And quite honestly, it's easier. It's yeah. easier to grill great food than it is That's to true. monitor this broiling in the oven, to monitor whether or not I'm pan frying accurately. Then you start to get creative. Honestly, the grilled bananas and getting that caramelization on top, an easy, absolutely wonderful dessert. Top it what whatever you like. And again, you feel like you're getting chef style <laughs> restaurant quality, you know, desserts here. And how long did that take me? Four minutes on the grill. That's Just great. needed a little bit of seasoning. And then we can scoop out the bananas foster and enjoy. So most of us wouldn't do that anyway. Now it would be a mess right. with the grill, but you know why? That caramelization gets so sticky, it would ruin the top of the grill. You'd have to scrub for days or soak it. Non-stick. No, nope. non-stick, damp rag, wipe it off. And here's the other thing, Phillips has done a great job with this. So first of all, my handles are cool, so I can grab it even while I'm still hot. I do usually wipe mine warm because it comes off even easier, yep. but it's non-stick on both sides oh, and great. in between every little grate. How many times have you had to struggle with cleaning anything oh, that had grates. Between the grates. Between the grates. Especially like, like burnt on cheese. Yes. Okay, um, somebody was asking on uh, Facebook Live, they want to know the dimensions of this. So it's 21 inches, uh, 21 and a half inches long by 14 and a half inches wide. And I would say the depth is going to be about six or seven inches. Yep. So it is easy to store, but if you read the reviews, most people use this daily. <laughs> and I think, you know, in a way, Stephanie, we got to kind of get our heads around the idea of you don't have to wait for that Saturday morning when you're right. at afternoon when you finally have time to grill you now can grill anytime you want so let's say you go to your favorite grocery store and the perfect filet mignon or that ribeye is on sale and you're like man would that be great tonight after work to have a grilled ribeye steak like that, that idea of that is so good it makes dinner so easy well, guess because what? You, no, can, you can exactly you can <laughs> stop at the grocery store right you can buy whatever's on sale Burgers. and you can go home and cook it in 10 minutes and that has changed how i get dinner on the table especially on weeknights knowing that if i stop by and grab something we did burgers tonight you know i was running out the door to go to work and i thought it's not like we can't do six burgers in 15 minutes throw them on the grill wipe it down and out we go. It, we know grilling doesn't get any better tasting, but suddenly now it just gets easier. Now explain this recipe again okay. in case you guys missed it. Yes, and you need to have a bite of this cheese with I the watermelon. I so, so good, I want right? to let it cool for and just a minute. what was the name of the cheese The again? name of the cheese is called halloumi cheese. Halloumi. And okay. what it is, is it's kind of a compact cheese, but that we obviously, you can see, have grilled, which allows it to it's melt so down cool. just a little bit. But look at the evenness. When I tell you how amazing it is to cook with no flare-ups, no hot spots, everything Thing that touches this comes out perfectly. Awesome. Honestly, it makes me look like a genius, you know, which I would never <laughs> felt like I had any control. Maybe that's why women don't like it when we grill outside. You just don't have any control. Good, yeah, you know what, Steph, that's a great point. And also it's it's intimidating and it's daunting. Because well, it might flare up and ruin your meal. Right. And then, well, that's true. Let's say you do buy that expensive ribeye or a great, you know, prime or something or a filet and you try grilling it and then you completely ruin it. It's undercooked. It's overcooked. It's too rough. It's whatever. And you spent all that money on a great cut of beef you don't have to worry about it this is so manageable and women it's funny i went to an elect or to a um, houseware store right and they were literally selling like pink and purple uh, grills women's grills little size oh, that's grills. very funny but guess what you had to do and you charcoal still had or propane, charcoal or propane <laughs> right and so here's our version of it now it's not like you have to be invited to someone's house and their husband's going to grill be independent grill yourself anytime anywhere all you need is a plug i I love this for camping. I because think it's you great never for have camping. the right conditions to do outdoor grilling when you're camping. No, and I love this too if you're only making dinner for one person. I mean, we can load this up for 10 burgers and 17 hot dogs without any problem. It's perfect for parties. But I know for me, I lived alone for many years. And to, to bother firing up the grill and, you know, getting the propane ready and bringing it up to temperature it takes a lot of time. It's a lot of effort. You know, to be able to just do it right here so easily and know that I'm about to have a healthy, great tasting meal. Mm. So we just pulled off this Looks salmon, great. which spent about what, five, eight minutes face oh. down. Oh. Not one bit of it stuck. Look at the color inside oh, that. Look at the moisture. It is 
picture perfect. When I tell you what I love most about working with this product is that it makes me better in everything I make because I have the perfect consistency. I have the perfect color. The vegetables, those gorgeous grill marks. Have you ever tried to chase squash and broccoli around an outdoor grill? I mean, half of it lands up inside. Again, <laughs> Philips has done everything right by spacing these grates absolutely perfectly. I do asparagus on here and don't lose any all the time. So I love that. And we remember, we have not only the lowest price we've ever offered on HSN, on an item that sells out every time we offer it, but it's the best price anywhere in the whole retail market. So if you're thinking, oh, wait tomorrow, I'm sure there'll be the Phillips Grill out somewhere. No, you will not get our exclusive offer. And it's only one day. Please note too, the free shipping, that saves you another $15. We have five flex pays that's super easy. You're gonna spread your payments out over the next five months. Think of how often you'll use this in the next five months. And I do want to read a couple of the customer reviews because people love it so much, even at the full price of $279, they went on and wrote reviews. And this gal said, I love it. This is Tem Paper in Ohio. She said, I have many appliances, but this grill is my favorite. Um, Shop Maven in Virginia said, it really does cook evenly. Leave it on the counter. You'll use it daily. Absolutely. Guys, I can go on and on with the customer reviews on this, but I don't have the time. What we do now in the very first airing is, I can guarantee we've got it available. Now over 500 have been ordered and I know we're very busy and I know dot com's pretty busy too. So if you are thinking about it, it's a fabulous Father's Day gift. It's a great family gift. It's a great gift to give yourself. It's an appliance much like our reviewers that you'll use constantly because now when you want to grill, you get the mood, you get the good deal on chicken or beef or something, you'll go, hey, I can grill. You get the corn that comes in, oh my gosh, oh. you know, we're getting growing there. up. Yes. When I would grow Me up and too. the corn would come in, that's the day you wanted to stick it on a grill. And guess what? It could be in the middle of winter and you can do that as well. So it doesn't matter the weather or the temperature or the conditions. If you've got a plug, you're genuinely grilling. Absolutely. Look at that skirt steak that just came that's off. Great. Those are fajitas, by the way, grilled, which means oh. I didn't have to douse them in oil, but yet I got all the crispy crunchies on the veggies. And have you ever seen a grill where those peppers and onions don't fall through? Okay. Most people don't even bother. Exactly. <laughs> Grill them up. We grilled some quesadillas. The cheese is amazing. And the crispy crunchy on the outside. Again, there's nothing you can't use this for. It cooks everything evenly. You will use it every meal of the day. All right, so we're going to wrap up on this. And again, I just want to mention, because we still have more of the hour to go, every night, starting tonight, and I guess forever and ever, we're actually live streaming on our HSN Facebook page. And so if you want to ask Steph a question, Stephanie's coming back because, of course, we have one of my favorite items coming up, the air fryer. Absolutely. So you can ask her another question. Also, too, we've got a lot of great stuff, including the multi-chopper that's available. And this is a great tool. It's the lowest price we've ever offered on HSN. This is huge. It is the Chop Drop Multi-Chopper. You know, I think a lot of us really do have a passion for cooking in the kitchen, but we hate the prep. And what this does, it just literally takes your prep down to nothing. So you'll cook more, you'll cook healthier, you'll eat better simply because the prep is not arduous. And look at how cool that feature is. Tonight, lowest price. I love the colors, too. Yeah, bright, bright colors bright are colors really for cool. Summer. Really, I like those. Those are neat. And we've got a great summer price with four flex pays. Okay, Stephanie won't go too far because still to come after, you're going to meet an inventor next. We're going to talk about the uh, Philips TurboStar Air Fryer. This has been one of the most successful kitchen appliances here at HSN. And it's all about air frying. It's like getting the Christmas and the taste of truly fried food and using none of the oil. And you have none of the guilt. I am one of the biggest advocates of air frying, and I was a doubter in the beginning, and now I use it for almost everything we cook in the kitchen. And yes, you use air. And again, Philips has made such an ingenious design. So you're gonna see that. I believe we have the lowest price on that coming up tonight too. Yeah, it's a this day only. So actually a limited quantity, lowest price for just today. All right, am I moving on? Okay, coming up next, you gotta stay with me. If you're like me, I love deviled eggs. You go to a party, always the first thing gone. We hate prepping it, we're gonna solve that. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details.
Discover the newest way to create a style all your own. The HSN Style Edit. A curated look at the season's best, most original finds for every part of your life. We decode the trends, share tips and how-tos, and give you the inspiration you need to style it your way. It's the joy of the hunt and the thrill of the find. Your unique style is here. Discover it now exclusively at hsn.com. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. few comments now we got it all fixed up for me if you're on our Facebook live thanks for joining me I want to say hi we are streaming live now every night at midnight for one full hour on our Facebook page so thanks guys for joining us and I've got a couple questions and I'll try to get to those in just a bit up next I really love this next gal you're gonna meet because she is a brilliant inventor and it's part of our American dream series where we're searching for great inventors and great inventions and the neg is definitely one of those and here's what I love this is a quote she said her only qualification is 65 years of eating hard-boiled eggs. And so I want to introduce you to Bonnie Tyler, who's the creator of The Neg. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? So I love your qualifications. Your resume was kind of short on that part. Well, it was a little short on that part. <laughs> and I can tell you, I've probably done just as many eggs in the last year and a half as I did up to 65. That's 65. Yeah. And it's interesting because you've been working on it for a couple of years, and now it's yeah. this really huge popular item. And it really comes down to the idea of we want and love deviled eggs, hard-boiled right. eggs, hate peeling exactly. them. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm just going to show this right off the bat. This is how easy this is. First thing you do is put a quarter of a cup of water in the bottom of the egg. Just covers the cap. You grab a hard-boiled egg, put it in there, snap on the cap, and all you do is just shake. It's that easy. And you can honestly hear and see this come apart. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. And here's the egg coming, popping out. Oh, clean, that's as, awesome. clean as a whistle all the way around. That is awesome. So it, it took many different iterations at the lot. We used the local library to do the different prototypes, and what we could do at the library was 3D print them. Get so we could print them. I'd run home with a thing and shake up a few eggs and say, no, it doesn't work that well. Oh, wow. We hit on this configuration, we were over the moon. That's easy, and I love the fact it's so simple. It is, it really is, time after time. It is that quickly done, and I can do a dozen eggs in four minutes if I didn't talk so much. Any, that's crazy. <laughs> well, and here's the thing, you know, Bonnie, I've really been, since Thanksgiving of last year, trying to really change my eating habits and my eating lifestyle, as a lifestyle. And eggs have become really important, and I need really quick to go food, because I'm always on the run, and I don't want to make a mistake eating through a drive through and that kind of thing. Yeah. But the problem I've had is, and I have our great Dash egg cooker. It's so awesome. It cooks like 12 eggs. It is a good one. It's really yep. nice. But yep. I'll tell you what's great, difficult is it is the effort of having to crack them and peel them and get it right and blah, 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 which stops most of us. So now having this, you really change how we can even eat on, on, on a daily basis. We think we've shaken up the egg world. Uh, no pun. <laughs> but I'm bummed. Yeah, but I'm bummed. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so we got but, a couple different colors you can choose from. And this is important. It's a two-pack, which is great. So you can get 
give one away as a gift if you'd like to. I think you can obviously keep them both. Um, the colors we have available though, and I wanna make sure we got them all, I think we do, are black, red, white, yellow, green, fuchsia, and we have the blush color. Um, also, again, don't forget, it's a set of two that you get, and obviously it's become a quick customer pick because it's just so darn smart. And Bonnie, tonight too, we have three flex pays on this. So you actually can get it home for under $10. What are some of the comments that you've loved that you've seen about it? Uh, and two comments that come up. One is magic, which of course we know it's not. This is based on science. Okay. And uh, the other one was miracle, which I don't think is that either. <laughs> but the way that I developed this was by watching the commercial peelers. And they all do the same thing when they peel an egg. They, really? roll, they roll the eggs forward on steel bars. They shake the entire tray back and forth and they hit it with water. Well, here we go. So it took a, some time to figure out how to do this, but this works. Did you ever think in a million years that you'd be <laughs> talking about peeling eggs on television? Absolutely not. I think that's so cool. I mean, I've done a lot of silly things in my life, I, uh, you know, over the years, but to think that here I am peeling eggs on national television, it never would have occurred to me. <laughs> and it literally has <laughs> become such a huge hit. Okay, because here's my question too. How often do you go to a picnic or a barbecue or even a, a buffet and there's deviled eggs on the table? What is the very first thing to go? That's it. It's I, the deviled eggs. Everybody loves deviled eggs. They're so delicious. They're so good. They're easy to eat and they taste great. The problem is nobody, we never want to make them. Never want to make them because up until now it's been really hard just to yeah, have to peel the eggs. Really it's just cumbersome. It. But you remind me, I went to a party over Christmas mm -hmm. and I brought a tray of deviled eggs and I took it into the kitchen and they were gone before I got out of the kitchen. Oh, you're I kidding me. I couldn't even make it out No, door. people beeline, man. I, I am rough. If there's deviled eggs on a picnic table, I'm pushing people away to try to get a couple of those. Yeah, they're no delicious. Kidding. You know, it's really funny. Years ago, I bought a, a like a gourmet deviled eggs book, mm -hmm. and it has all these recipes like caviar deviled eggs and all these cool recipes, yeah. right? I never made a single one, only because number one, making the deviled eggs were too, or the eggs themselves were, I thought, pretty hard, and I couldn't get it right. That was the problem. And number two, didn't want to peel and do all the work. So you get the de egg dash dash egg maker or something that we have here at HSN and grab this, and all of a sudden it's just quick and yeah, fast it, and easy. It really is. And the thing that's nice that comes with the egg is you get the recipes inside. There's okay. a little piece of paper there that, that comes out and um, it gives you the perfect way to peel a hard boiled egg every time. I mean, it just really is. When you get that little green circle around the yolk, it means it's been overcooked. Really? So the whole business with peeling or with cooking a hard boiled egg is you need to control time and temperature. Okay. So you control the temperature by starting the eggs in boiling water cook the large egg for 11 to 12 minutes, depending on how you like them. And then at the other end, to stop the cooking, you put them in an ice bath. And that stops the cooking so you've actually controlled all those elements that you need to control. And this will be the perfect egg every time. And what I do before I, you can see on these how well that yolk is centered on the egg. I flip my whole dozen eggs before I put them in the water. I flip the carton upside down. And what that does is it allows the yolk to float back into the middle of the egg rather than being on the end. So you really do come out with pretty looking eggs. It's a it's Who just a knew must that one? It. That's yeah, good. Is, is that also in the instructions? Yes, it is. Oh, that's I, perfect. So to, to cook the perfect egg, you will get it right inside here. And then to yep. peel the perfect egg, you've got the unit itself times two. All right, the first one that will sell out tonight is going to be the blush color. And you'll see the blush pink. In fact, they have the blush pink right beside the fuchsia color. Yeah. So there's the blush on the right, and then there's the fuchsia. There's your red and yellow. On my side, I have the black, we have the white, and we have the green. And again, you're getting a set of two. I don't know about you, but maybe you have made that commitment to trying to eat a lot healthier. For me, it's the perfect to go snack. I just want it done in my fridge and ready to go. And it's funny because today I boiled a dozen eggs. I did a lot of stuff. I used my air fryer, I made bacon, boiled all these eggs, and then it came to the point of peeling them. And I was just beyond myself. I was just like, daggone it. My egg cooker did a great job. Yep. My peeling hands, not so good. It's so I ended up making egg salad with half of them. <laughs> just because I thought this is a hot mess, I'll just make some egg salad. That's usually what happens. I mean, seriously, I had no idea. I I think everybody that I've talked to uses the same word for peeling a hard-boiled egg, and that is, I hate peeling hard-boiled eggs. Not I just like it, and hate is really the word they use. Right, right, So yeah. when you solve the problem, they're over the moon about it. I mean, it really has been wonderful to 
first of all, watch people use this because there is that aha moment. I can honestly feel that shell soften, and you can hear the difference in the way it you rattles. Hear, you, the around. rattle sounds different. Yeah, yeah, it does. Look, look and at you guys. So it just slips. It just right comes off. right out of there. Now, does it matter if it's a brown egg, white egg? Is there any specifics on that? Not really. No, okay. I've never had any problem with any either one. Any size work? Like you know, yep. the small eggs. They got the large eggs, extra no, large these, eggs. These happen to be large because that's what we usually use. But and the recipe in there is for large eggs. However, if you want smaller eggs, cut it back by a minute, you know, or if it's a bigger egg, an extra large egg, then add, add a minute on. It's just common sense, really. Oh, right, to right. Stretch just a little the bit. cooking time. Oh, that's easy enough. So, okay. yeah, no, it's really, uh, I have not met eggs that uh, don't give it up for this, for the <laughs> egg. <laughs> and explain how much water you put in it again, if you will. It's just a quarter of a cup of water, and it's just up over the cap here, so it's pretty easy to oh, that's see easy. that you've okay. got it right. Okay. And, um, and then you really do give it a pretty good rattle. I mean, it's not, you know, some people, I found one person that was doing it this way, and nothing, she was complaining nothing was happening. Well, nothing happens because you haven't given it the big punch that it needs. So you really just shake it. It's like a cocktail, it. a cocktail shaker would be the same, same move. That's great. Yeah, you don't have to baby it, which is surprising. No, no, no you, you don't. Think you'd have to be it'll like... take, no, it'll take quite a beating. And I have had some of the, uh, you know, the CrossFit guys have exploded it on occasion, but other than that, <laughs> <laughs> they might not want to go quite so hard. <laughs> so but, vigorous. <laughs> but honestly, I, I give it a, a really good uh, ride around in there, and it works every time. Oh, that's awesome. So. Well, I love it, too. And again, it is a set of two. Keep one, give one away, have an extra. I don't know. And again, I think whether you're doing an egg salad, I love a cob salad, oh my gosh, with hard-boiled eggs. If you're doing the party, if you're doing, um, you're inviting people over, you just want to make deviled eggs because they're so darn delicious for yourself, just take the one job that really is not so good is having to peel them and make it easy. And the one thing I want to add that we're very proud that this is all made in America. The oh, brochure, great. the neg, everything, the box that comes in, all American made. That's great. So, oh, Bonnie, thanks. It was great meeting you. Nice meeting you. Awesome invention, delightful. too. Thanks yeah, so that's much. Great. All right, so I uh, just want to give you a quick reminder of our today's special. By the way, we did have somebody online ask me what is the weight of the today's special. It is a 12 point two pounds, 12.2 pounds. So that was one of the questions. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, Star, the gal beside me, Bonnie, she is the inventor of the neg. Isn't that cool? I just think she's lovely. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. They are amazing how this works. Oh, Anne says these are great. Amazing how this works. So Anne, thank you. She's commenting, of course, on the uh, neg that we just had on with Bonnie. So again, and Stephanie's rejoining me because now we're going to talk about another awesome item. And it is, of of course, um, really frying with air. It's such a brilliant, brilliant idea. And it's something that I've been passionate about for a while. Um, and it's funny, because originally, I was totally suspect. I thought, why would you want to cook your food with air? It's not going to work. It's not going to taste good. And then once you start doing it, it changes everything. Um, just today, I was kind of being very, very thorough in my kitchen. And I want to make some bacon. And I'd never made bacon in my air fryer. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to throw it in there. And what's really bizarre is not only did it come out perfectly crisp and absolutely delicious, it tasted completely different and much, much better. I think more genuine than it would if it was sitting in a skillet in a bunch of its own fat and all the fat dripped down. Well, that's the brilliance behind air frying. And there's a lot more to it. But basically, if you love fried food, but you hate the guilt associated with it, air frying is where it's at and it does a ton more this is from Philips I've got great colors we have them all back in stock we have the beautiful purple we have the red we have the white and of course we have the black now I want to mention that we have quick crispy and delicious recipes it's a book uh, that's also available it's 150 healthy air fry recipes that you can ask about we have 200 available which really uh, shows you what you can do with this because it's pretty incredible and there's the information it's 2850 and two flex pays so I'm gonna hang on to that hanging on to you all who are on with face with me on Facebook live <laughs> and I'm gonna say hi to Stephanie at the same time hey Steph hey. welcome back good so, to be um, here you know I, what's nice about this tonight too we have three Flex pays. That's only for tonight, and it's the first time back since it sold out last time it was here. So, uh, oh, I think we have more than that. Oh, I'm sorry, we have five flex pays. Oh, I apologize. And of course, you guys have made it a customer pick. Why do you think Stephanie has become such a popular item? Oh, because you are able to eat the food that you want without the extra oil. I mean, who doesn't want to eat a chicken wing and have the crispy, crunchy outer edge? We love them. You don't have to drown them in oil to get the crispy, crunchy. That is the whole concept behind 
behind air frying. But the difference with Philips is they are doing it so that every bit of the food is crispy and it works each and every time. Whether I'm doing the chicken wings, again, no oil added, or I'm doing fried chicken breasts. I mean, there isn't a better test than this, right? We've dredged these, a little bit of egg, a little bit of panko, not one drop of oil. We're gonna slide it into the air fryer, set the timer for 10 minutes. I leave my temperature on high and we walk away. And when we come back, you have fried chicken. I mean, just the concept of cooking, no fuss, no muss, set it and go, call it whatever you want. Again, the circulating hot air is doing all the work. It's making it crisp, it's cooking it evenly, it's cooking faster than anything that I do in my oven. But here's the key, you have to have Turbo Star, and that is what you get with Philips. Here's the difference. There are other air fryers on the market. We know that. Philips was first here in the U.S., but the other ones do not have Turbo Star. That is patented. When you don't have it, your food spins around in a circle. But think about food. Food is three-dimensional. So to get the crisp and crunch on every edge of the food, you want the Turbo Star so that your food gets the air up, down, and all around, or else you're gonna have crispy on one side, flat on the other. Look at the french fries, wow. look at the chicken strips. Obviously, you see the crunch, they are golden brown and gorgeous. This is what Turbo Star gets me. Without Turbo Star, mm -hmm. half of these fries stay, you know, plain colored and bland, and then the other half gets really crispy. We don't open this, we don't have to toss it around, we don't have to move it around. These are all problems that you run into with other air fryers. You have to stop, you have to flip, you have to toss. I don't want to do that. I want the hot air to do the circulating so that my food gets crispy and once again, not one drop of oil. So how could we not love Wait. this in our kitchen? And it's fun because I'm uh, right now I'm actually watching, uh, along with you, partially, uh, our Facebook Live, right? You're watching me on the computer. I know, not, but I love it. Yeah, <laughs> Kathy Flanagan, she says, I love my air fryer. Well, Kathy, tell us why. You can go and type in. I'd love to hear it in the comments why you love it. Because what you'll find out is it really changes everything. In fact, it's funny, we have these really low carb pizzas that we discovered. Right. They're like about six inch, it makes four pizzas, like a personal pizza, right? And we, we said, throw my husband and I, throw them in the air fryer. We put everything in, we test everything in the air fryer, right? Because who wants to turn on the stove and microwaving's kind of gross when it comes to pizza. I put it in my air fryer, do you know it came out so good? And the pepperonis crisp it around little, the oh, edge. Oh, those little brown edges. They were so exactly. good. Exactly. But it's things like that. You know, why do we go to restaurants and we always order those fried mozzarella sticks as appetizers? Because they're so good. Imagine good. having the same experience, but none of the guilt in the oil. Exactly. And it really comes down to this. When you go to the restaurant and you order the fried food, they use this. So if you are truly replicating frying at home, I know you're using this. There is nothing good about this. We don't really want to taste it. I mean, it's not like we like the taste of oil. We like the crisp and crunch, but you don't want to buy it. You don't want to haul it home. Disposing of it is awful. And it's just downright bad for us at this point. And we all know that. This is air frying. Absolutely everything we cook, one tablespoon or less of oil. I just put some um, Brussels sprouts and flank steak in my air fryer. When I do something like Brussels sprouts, I do use my one tablespoon of oil. I like that little bit of flavor. I use olive oil. I like that little extra crunch on the outside of the Brussels sprouts. But guess what? I do not feel bad about this over four servings of Brussels sprouts. This this I would feel bad about. Yeah, so I'm eating foods that, gosh, I wouldn't have eaten before. You told me Brussels sprouts before, I'd have said slimy. You put them in the air fryer, crispy, crunchy, and healthy. Okay, two questions. One, D says, if the browning element is on the top, how does the food lower than the first layer get brown? Because of that Turbo Star the technology. Air. The air literally moves up, down, and all around. And we have a graphic to show D that. And that's the difference. It is the shape of the Phillips pan, truly, that makes the air go up, down, and all around. On the right-hand side of your screen, you can see how the little balls are popping and moving all around because they have that great circulation. And I will hold this pan up so we can see it. If you don't have that circulation, if you don't have a Phillips air fryer, you don't get it. You get food that's only crispy, crunchy on the brown, on the on bottom. The bottom that's or right. the top, and the, the ones in the middle just sit there. So really, the inside of the pan is absolutely okay. key. Uh, Nancy wants to know how many quarts is it? 
How many quarts does it hold? This holds two pounds of food. So if we convert that into quarts, that one I may have to get back to Nancy. But two I pounds. Two pounds of food. <laughs> Sorry. Two, a two pound bag of french we're, fries goes right in here. We're, we're good, but we're not that good. <laughs> we measure in pounds here, right out of the freezer, right. baby. <laughs> and it really, it is, it's crazy because it's out of the freezer into here. You know what I we found out with bacon today? I never had done bacon in it, right? And I, I said a moment ago, it just came out so good, it did not stink up the house. Oh, absolutely. My husband, when he usually does bacon on the skillet, it makes the whole house smell, and it kind of sticks to the fabric of my house, I swear. Uh, yes. Like, smells it forever, smells right? for hours. With this, you would have no idea I was making bacon. Right. And it came out crisper and more delicious. And I like really crisp bacon. Okay. I hate fat on bacon. Right. And it came out so good, and my house, you would have no idea that I made bacon today. And I just kind of discovered that. It was another aha moment for me using my air fryer. Well, and that's the thing about the air fryer is once you start using it, you'll realize that you're going to be using it for absolutely and everything. And you try everything. Just I of try course it you first. should. I always go there first. Give it a try. So let's talk about stinking up the house. Salmon, you bake that in the wrong in, uh, oven or too much drip down. It'll stink up your house. We've laid this on a bed of cauliflower. Okay, I gotta tell you, these crispy, crunchy cauliflowers with that golden brown edge, absolutely addicting. I was under the impression that most vegetables came out slimy, and that was simply because I was steaming everything. You know, I knew I didn't want to fry it in oil, right? Because I was trying to be healthy. Sure. But when you steam everything, it just doesn't always have enough texture for some people, and I was one of those people. Once you start air frying your vegetables and you get all those golden brown edges, it's like snacking. You'll want to eat mm. so much of them. It is amazing. And with cauliflower, it gives it almost like an oaky taste. Yeah, a nutty oh, taste. It's so, so good. Yeah, nutty taste, yeah. Okay, so we have, and I believe it's it's Ray Loke. I hope I said that right. Loves mine. That's what Ray Loke said, which great. is great. Um, this looks awesome. I just tuned in. Love this. Yes, Heather, it is awesome. If you don't have an air fryer yet, Heather, truly try it tonight. First off, it's a this day only, and what that means is the price is only good today. We also have a special five flex that we normally don't do, so you're going to spread your payments out over, over five months if you use a major credit card. It's a true game changer. And what's really funny is you stop using your stovetop very often. We hardly ever open our oven. Well, because you can actually do chicken in here. I mean, you can do some serious cooking. Yeah, oh, that's a good example. This is a great, a great example. example. And you yeah. know what? This is the time of year where I don't want to open my oven. I don't want to heat up my kitchen, but sometimes you still want a good comfort meal. What about shallots, fingerling potatoes, under a bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin? Okay, here's the deal. 20 minutes, set it and forget it. And oh, That's the crazy. juices from the 20 pork. 20 minutes. The juices from the pork go down onto the potatoes. They are wonderful. And I have the crisp and crunch on the outside with the bacon. Here's what I like about weekday meals too. I can get a lot of these cuts of meat in my butcher department so that all I have to do is come home, put this in the air fryer, set it and forget it. That circulating hot air does the cooking. And look at that. Mm. Pork is hard to not have dry wow. out. This is so moist, so wonderful, and for a weeknight dinner, I look like a rock star. That's true. You know, That's and true. dinners are hard on busy weeknights, any night of the week for that matter. This makes cooking so much easier. It makes the job of feeding your family as healthy as possible so much easier. And you very quickly realize you may get this for the chicken fingers and the french fries because we love them and they're crispy and wonderful just like the chicken wings, but you'll start using it yeah. for the porks, for the burgers, for the steaks for absolutely everything because again you've got the heating element the circulating hot air it will crisp and crunch absolutely everything all right miss stephanie here we go uh d wants to know how do you clean it oh <laughs> the well, heating element especially exactly well the heating element you don't have to clean because remember it's up in the yeah, unit it's not touching it anything. doesn't touch any of the food it doesn't get spattered by grease or anything like that because remember we're not cooking with oil so you never have to touch the heating element and then what we do clean would be this baking rack and other the baking shelf, rather, the drawer, and then the mess basket. They are non-stick. Most of the time, you know how I clean them? I wipe them out with a wet paper towel because they are that easy to clean, but they are also dishwasher safe. So, no big deal. We've added an accessory of a rack here, also dishwasher safe. And the rack is available. If you'd like to get the rack, it actually will create two different layers. You can cook two different things at the same time. Basically, so that's doubles available. your capacity. This is great. I mean, yeah, I'm can literally... You, can we show it, guys, just real quick? I don't it's hot, really so that. I don't want to hold it's it up to hot, There you go. Oh, there's yeah, a there better view. Thanks, guys. We have the accessory kit that's 100 left in the accessory kit. And then separately, we have the baking dish and the double layer rack is separate. But if you want all the accessories, you can get them right there. There's the
just the baking dish. And that's another question Nancy wanted to know. Can you make cookies? Can you bake yes, in Yes, you it? can. And, and the baking dish is a great way to do that. You could pour a cake in that, brownies, put cookie dough in it, frittatas, literally everything works in here. There's the rack. It comes with skewers and it doubles your capacity. And to answer some of the other questions, here's a look at the mesh basket. So you can see how the air circulates around the food because here's my heating element. Turbo Star draws it up and around and it goes through the bottom to touch the food. Here's something else I like about showing cooking with this. And this goes with Suzanne's story about the bacon. When you cook bacon in it, you pour off the nasty grease and fat. So when you do something like meatballs, I don't need grease in my meatballs right. to make them good. In fact, I want it out of there. Right. That's the stuff that upsets your stomach and makes you feel all weighed down. But what do you want? You want the crispy crunch of the outside of the meatball. That you got. Not one drop of oil. In fact, I poured grease and oil off of my meatballs. Yeah. And again, you just when you get something home, if you're thinking about cooking, if it's a piece of chicken, maybe it's frozen chicken, yep. throw it in here and try it. It's going to work and you'll love it. Then you say, okay, for me, it was like, okay, I'm going to throw cauliflower in there. I'm going to do vegetables. Okay, we're trying a pizza. We really push ours to the limits to see what we can do inside there. And once you work with this, you, you don't even put it away. You know how you have certain appliances you leave in the counter because you use them so often? This is the one that never goes under the counter. Exactly, because you can use it for anything. So here we've got a great show of capacity oh, wow. and using as a steamer. Asparagus, if you have not tried them right now, in season and amazing. Now, how did you do that? All we did was put in asparagus, shrimp, tomatoes, and then let it steam. Remember, because the heat create some steam. Okay. It is releasing the natural juices. There's some fresh herbs in there. Sometimes you could even throw a little wine in at the end and let it create like a sauce to steam into. Oh, nice. Pour it all over a bed of rice. How healthy, how fresh, how spring-like. And that's dinner for four. Literally 15 minutes of my time. And okay, let's be real. The air fryer's time. Because that was about two minutes of my time to prep the veggies and throw it in. Don't you love the fact when I'm making the bacon, usually if you're making bacon, you stand over it, you're in front of the stove because everything's splattering and you don't want to oh, walk it's away. Dangerous. When I made that bacon today, I shoved it in there. I put mine on for about 14 minutes, walk back. It was done. I didn't have to think about it. The only reason I went to check it is I had never done it before, so I didn't know how much time I needed. Right. <laughs> set it and forget it is a big part of why we love air frying so much. Again, once you set it, you have complete time control. You have complete temperature control. I roasted corn. And again, this is one of those things that I don't want to heat up my oven for a sheet pan of corn. Right. But boy, I do want those crispy, crunchy flavors, little cilantro, oh, little nice. tomato. I like to throw in some avocado and you have a mm. absolute rock star chip and dip here and again people are like oh how nice of you you roasted corn for me and took it off the cob and that's so much work <laughs> nope that's a bag of frozen corn in 20 minutes in the air fryer <laughs> you know and that's okay isn't the best part about making great homemade food making it sure. without stress and that's where I feel that Phillips has really gone above and beyond whether it's the smokeless grill whether it's the air fryer it's creating these techniques technologies so that I can make the things I want to make without having to put out too much effort when we simply don't have it. Okay, mm. if you joined us early on, you saw me put a chicken breast in here, raw, not one drop of oil, and dredged with a, an egg wash and panko. Now I have fried chicken. Wow. It is crispy. It is crunchy. It is amazing on top of a bed of greens or with a vegetable on the side. But wow. what it is is 100% guilt-free. I I love, love, love crunchy chicken, and I have not let myself eat it in years, because why try to eat a salad and vegetables if you're going to put a big fattening piece of fried food on top? Oh, look at that. Look at the juice on the inside. It's picture perfect every Wait, single but time. you can literally hear the crunch. Yes. Ten minutes. <laughs> Ten minutes, and I didn't do a thing. Have if a I did... Yeah, have a bite, please. Yeah. If I did drop this into a fryer, we would have had to watch it like a hawk and blot it dry when we're done. Would you it's not so eat good. that for lunch every day? Love it. On a it's different bed of lettuce, on some fruit on this side. And again, how many minutes? Every 10 minutes. Mm. And again, set it and forget it. We put it in here and we walked away. And that is key with everything that we are putting together here. No matter what it is, I am not standing here slaving over an air fryer. Far from it. I am putting the food in and I am letting that circulating hot air do the work. Right, I want to pull these quick. Brussels sprouts. I yep. want to say, um, all right, um, Kelly is saying, I love my air fryer. I never... Um, 
um, use my oven and stovetop at all. Yes, Kelly, isn't that true? Yeah. People don't really realize that, but it's honest to goodness truth. You will be absolutely flabbergasted what you can do inside here. Couple little reminders because we're pretty busy for this. This is our lowest price we've ever offered on HSN. It's a this day only, which means the price is good for one single day. After today, if I have any left, it's going to jump to almost $200. So that's a really nice savings. It's not just like five bucks off. It's a lot of money. And then if you go on down, we have five flex pay and that's also for today only. So everything, every element you're seeing right there is only for you for today. Here's how many we've sold already. 2,500 are gone. I only have a little over 2,000 for the entire day. So okay. again, this is one of those that if you're kind of sitting on the fence and you're thinking, oh, I wanted to try this or, wow, you know what? It looks really great like many of you online are saying. Perfect time to get it tonight. All right, so we got to wrap this one up. Thank you again, Seth. Great to be what here. What time you back? Uh, we are back at 8 a.m. talking about the smokeless grill. Which is our today's special. Absolutely. Which you can see on hsn.com as well. A couple things I want to mention. Um, we have, of course, our protection plus. Um, what, that, what that is, and you can get it on many of our appliances and many of our electronics too, it just gives you extra protection. It's very easy, it's hassle-free, basically covers lots of stuff, no deductibles, there's no surprise like your phone, right? Uh, and you can check out more details on hsn.com. Also want to give you a peek at one of our hot items that we have. In fact, we have a lot of them. It's from Rhonda Shear. And if you type in hot items and you search our website, you're going to see it's our three-pack of her famous Abra. But what she did is she took the Abra, which we sold millions of and she added a beautiful lace that you actually can show off so you have really great comfort nice uh, molded cups on here and it's a three pack and it's one of our hot items today just a quick reminder of our today's special okay so let me give you an update almost 700 have been sold in just this hour and that was in about you know 15 16 minutes or so what is it it's basically getting genuine grilling anywhere as long as you have a plug and it's all infrared technology so smokeless, no flare-ups, but you really genuinely get the sizzle and you get the flavor of grilling without any of the hassle whatsoever. If you'd like to pick it up, you can see all the details on hsn.com and you can order even though we're moving on. Um, also, I just want to say hey and thank everybody who joined us live. We're streaming for the very first time tonight at midnight tonight. We streamed live on our Facebook page. So thanks you guys for the questions and thanks for joining me. Coming up next is Debbie and every night now at midnight, we will be live streaming streaming on our Facebook page, HSN, our midnight show. So thanks for hanging out with me. Have a great evening.